as this video is shot right after the last one, Cheesebo 20 here, and I want to talk a little bit about pulse width modulation and DC to DC, as there seems to be some bit of, uh, I don't know, confusion in the vaping community. So let's talk about PWM, pulse width modulation. So what pulse width modulation is, is it takes the computer chip in here, and instead of pushing out full power, like straight DC, DC, alright, so what you do on this, oops, you uh, press and hold the up wattage button, and you press and hold the power button. This is on the IPV mini only, alright, so you can go down, I have it at 12 is the lowest, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but if you hear it, it's pulsed. So what it's doing is actually pulsing that 12 watts to the coil very, very fast, so it's not a straight on. Some people enjoy it. I'm personally on the fence about it. I don't have particular feelings either way about it, but this is 12 watts on a pulse. All right. Now, this is 12 watts on DC-DC. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of difference in um, vapor production, and the reason for this is this. When you pulse a coil, it's on for a second, then it cools off. It's on for a second, cools off. It's on for a second, cools off. Alright, and it's cool. It's cool. I actually don't know the frequency that it's doing it at, but you can hear it, it when you uh, actually fire it. You can actually hear it pulsing. <clears throat> and with DC to DC, it's taking straight from your battery. It's going through your voltage regulator up here, and then it's going into your coil. So instead of pulsing it, it's just a solid... It just goes. So yeah, that's the difference between PWM and DC to DC. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave a comment in the section below if your uh, feelings are a bit more complex than that. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Also, I'm totally swiping that from Linus Tech Tips. Don't hate.